Hello, welcome to 7 Shifts. We are employee scheduling software made 100% for restaurants. So the goal of this video is just to provide you with a quick overview of how 7 Shifts works and let you know how the software works with the Touch Bistro integration. So let's get started. This is our login page to our web app, app.7shifts.com. All users within the account require an email address in order to log in. And once logged in, you get a daily snapshot of the schedule and you can flip between days here. The account structure is accessed by hovering over the profile picture and accessing locations, departments and roles. It starts with locations. You can have as many locations, departments and roles within one account as you need for your business. The location is the physical address of the business and departments are basically separate schedules for each location. So within Fresh Bistro, for example, we have back of house and front of house. And the roles are within each department, the jobs which you will be assigning to the employees. So we have our back of house roles and the front of house roles. To manage the employees within seven shifts, go to manage and then employees. Here you can see an existing employee profile. The most important pieces of information are first name, last name, and email address, as well as mobile phone number for SMS texting. The hierarchy level within Seven Shifts works as uh, admin user, which is usually the business owner or the manager, which is the account we're in right now, followed by manager, assistant manager, and then employee. If I was to make Ben a manager here, you can see all of these manager permissions populate and you can really customize exactly where you want that employee to have access to. Locations, departments and roles tab is where you will assign where that employee needs to be scheduled. So right now Ben works at the Fresh Bistro front of house as a bartender and server. This little yellow star here denotes that this is his primary role and he can have as many roles to be scheduled as he needs. HR and payroll is where you keep track of wages, salary, weekly salary or hourly, and then any notes pertaining specifically to this employee. There's different requests you'll be managing from employees, availability being one of them. Availability can be submitted on a weekly or repeating basis, and once it's submitted, it comes to the manager here for approval to view before approving or declining. Time off is used for days where the employees can absolutely not work. It is also trackable through our time off report in the report section. Once submitted, again, this comes to the management for approval. It'll also warn if there's anyone who has already taken this day off. You can also block days within seven shifts this can be used for really busy days or days where you have uh, too many people already taking it off. So now we will head to the schedule by clicking on this little calendar icon. So here's the schedule we are looking at. We have three different layouts available to view the schedule in. The first one we'll start with is list. You can flip between location and also the different departments here. So we have, we're looking at the front of house schedule and if I click on back of house, you can see that it's a different schedule here. So this list view is pretty standard. It shows the employees down the left hand side. You can rearrange the employees by clicking and dragging them into your preferred order. The hourly total here totals up as you add shifts throughout the week. And the wage gets pulled into the profile to let you know how much that employee is costing you for the week. The approved availability and time off are pulled directly into the schedule, as you can see by these little corner red and orange flags to let you know if they're available or not. And warnings are shown. If you have a shift that's in conflict, the shift appears in red. And all of the conflicts will populate at the top of the schedule here. Seven Shifts works great for scheduling employees across locations. So as you can see here, Fran works at the Roast Steakhouse and this other location, the Bistro. To add a shift in all views, you just click the plus sign, choose the role the employee will be working, choose the time frame, 
and click Save. We also offer overtime warnings if you have overtime rules to abide by, which turns the employee in red once they are put into overtime. You can click and drag shifts. It'll turn red if the employee is not able to take that role or green if they are. And if you want to copy and paste a shift, let's say this shift is worked two days in a row, simply hold down the shift key and click and drag. Now we will head over to the timeframes layout. As you can see, it's broken down by role with the shift time down the side. You can add more timeframes here or they can also be added under the timeframes tab. Again, click the plus sign to add a shift. It lets you know exactly who is available to take the shift in green and who is unavailable in red. Choose the person you'd like to work and click save. And our third layout option is the list by role, which is kind of a combination of the two. You can see the role headers at the top and the employees down the left hand side. Once you are ready to notify your employees that the schedule is complete, you can come down to the bottom, choose exactly who you'd like to notify, and click Publish. Once all of the shifts are in white, that's what lets you know that the employees can view it. While you are working in draft mode, there's no need to save the shifts as it will automatically save. Now, our weekly budget tool is this top part you see here. You can also hide it if you just want to work at the schedule. With the Touch Bistro integration, the projected and actual sales are automatically filled in for you. There's no need to manually enter those. You would just need to fill out your labor target. You can see that the boxes turn red if you're above your labor target, and they stay green if you're below or at. Each day has a total breakdown for each department, and the number for the entire location is up at the top here. So another request you'll be managing from employees is shift changes. And this can be taken care of in our shift pool feature, which is under manage shift pool. When employees log in, they have the option of offering up their shifts to other employees who are able to take them. And when at least when one at least bid is one placed, bid by, is another placed by another employee, shift, employee on the shift, it comes, shift, to, it comes to a manager for, for approval. approval. So seven shifts will provide warnings if there are conflicts with the trade or if you have overtime warnings enabled within your account. So here you can see Ron is bidding on the shift for Marilyn, but you will notice that you will get a warning if this employee is about to go into overtime. If you don't have overtime rules to abide by, then they don't need to be enabled and you would just assign or deny. Now, heading back to the schedule, clicking that little calendar icon again, I'd like to show you our daily roster graph feature. So our daily roster graph is this little bar graph you find under each day. Click on it and it gives you a daily snapshot of exactly who is working, what role they're performing and at which times. Our events feature can be found under the events tab here. You can add all the events for your restaurant and all of the events will populate at the top of the schedule for all users. You can use this for reservations, staff parties, meetings, anything you'd like to communicate to your employees. And our templates feature allows you to create rules for what you require in your schedule. Just open up an existing one here. So you add the shifts and create the rules within uh, what you need to accommodate your schedule. Once completed, you'll be able to pull in the template and it auto schedules around previous approved availability, time off, and also the rules which you've created within the template. To pull in a template, head back to the schedule here, go to a blank week. It asks you if you wanna start with a template, select yes, select the template, and submit. Any unassigned shifts will also be noted so that you'll know you have to find people to fill these. We also have in-depth reporting available in our report section, including attendance, time off, shift pool reports. A big part of the restaurant industry is the communication you'll need to use to communicate with your employees. So the manager logbook is something that replaces that little black book 
or uh, any tools you use to record those important bits of information that happen throughout the day. The categories of the manager logbook are completely customizable. You can rearrange them however you like. And once an entry is recorded, all of the managers within the account are notified. You can also have the option of sending an email summary at the end of the day. So these can only be deleted on the day in which they were created. If you flip back to previous days, you would not be able to delete them. Our other pieces of communication involve our announcements feature, which can be found with this little speech bubble and the exclamation mark on it. If you want to send out a blast message to whoever you like, you can send it out to everyone at the location, specific departments, or specific roles. You can type in a message and click send. So employees will always have a history of all the announcements that were sent out. However, they are unable to send them themselves. Only admins and managers are able to send announcements. And then our messaging feature is the more conversational side of the piece of it. So it has your recent messages here, little orange dots, uh, note if you have a new message or not. You can choose exactly who you want to message. So for example, if you only want to message your servers, click your server group, post the update, and your employees are able to comment. Under people, you can create your own custom chats. So you can create a new chat by clicking the little pencil and paper icon and choose exactly who you'd like to have a conversation with. Once you submit the message, all of these people will be notified and you can include attachments as well if you want and they would be able to reply on the messages. So we have two points of integration with Touch Bistro. The first one I mentioned was the labor and budget tool with your actual and projected sales automatically filtering into that tool to help you accurately predict your labor. Our second point of integration with Touch Bistro is schedule enforcement. So what this means is that employees will not be able to log in to Touch Bistro or punch in through the terminal unless they are scheduled within Seven Shifts. So that is a general overview of what Seven Shifts offers. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach our support channel or sales. Thank you very much for taking the time to walk through it with me. Have a great day.